Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. We are currently preparing for the impending storm that's coming. Um, they said it was coming from the south, but to my map it looks like it's coming from the north. Or maybe this map is just upside down. Hard to tell. In any case, uh, we have vastly expanded our resource storage and we're trying to stockpile things like food and coal, uh, which are going to keep us alive during the storm. Um, there are constantly new refugees that we are escorting back to the city, um, so we need to make sure we have homes and food prepared for them. Um, and in getting ready for this eventual uh, storm, we also need to be making sure that we're extracting as much uh, resources as we can. So um, maybe that might mean getting a couple more hunter's hangers, right? Ideally, we want to just be um, ideally we want to just be collecting as much resources as possible, and we actually have most of our people not working in the city, which is fine, um, right? This late in the game, with a storm on the way, we're fine having most of our things automated. Um, but we do want to make sure that we do have enough people because look, it is dropping right now to negative seventy. Oh, that is very cold. It's very cold. So I'm going to go ahead and look at our temperature overlay to see where we're at. So, not adequate. So we're going to need to turn to steam level 3. Okay, we're going to let the, the generator heat up to steam Lord, level 3. Lord, be with us as we labor today. Perfect. And I think with any new steam cores that we get, we want this to be... If we're gonna have this be steel, because we're running out of steel storage, sure. Uh, let's look at our new temperature overlay with steam level 3 on. Even that is not really enough to do much. Uh, by the looks of it, um, a lot of the buildings are fine, like hunters' hangers and um, infirmaries. Um, and the houses are actually fine, it's the bunk houses that need to get upgraded. So I think we start like seriously spending our time uh, upgrading the hunter's hangers. Not the hunter's hangers, the bunkhouses. Um, I also see um, an oversight right here. We have a very cold house. That won't do at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dismantle this house. And we're going to build more houses. In the place that's actually warm. Like here. Perfect. Wood, of course, is a problem for us. A tip from a believer. All right, some supplies were recovered. All right, that's a whole bunch of food rations. We have about five days worth of food rations stockpiled. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna go to our wall drill. And I'm gonna go ahead and declare a 24 hour emergency shift. So we can get tons of wood in here. We really need to start upgrading all of these to houses or we're going to be screwed. We are currently researching advanced coal mines. Then I think we're going to get uh, coal thumper injectors. And then I think we're going to get coal mining rationalization just to really like maximize the amount of um, the amount of wood, uh, not wood, coal that we're uh, harvesting. Then I think we're going to get automaton integration to boost our automaton efficiency. And then we're going to need to get stuff like um, advanced heaters, heater efficiency, um, generator efficiency. All this is basically going to help our make our bang for our buck a little better. Okay. We're out of wood, it says. Crazy. I don't know what we're using all this wood for. Well, I, I do. I know. We're building a bunch of houses, and that wood is a kind of crucial building supply in the construction of houses. Look at our city. This looks impressive. This is like so much. We've built up so much from when we first began the series. I'm going to go to our factory and I'm going to tell it to build one more automaton. Oh, it already is. It's in the process of building an automaton already. Okay. 
Now, we have the wood. Let's start upgrading houses. Where do we want to start our upgrading process? In here. In the outskirts. It's going to be a very expensive project. If only we could live with ourselves turning down um, turning down people, refugees into the city. But no, we're going to try to accept everybody who comes to the city. We can get an infirmary checklist. That might be useful. House insulation might also be useful. But like I said, um, is coal really an issue right now? I don't think coal is that much of an issue right now. What might be better? I think automaton integration might be better. Or redesign? Ah, uh, we don't really need to make automatons cheaper. We're not going to produce that many more of them. But I think automaton integration is definitely going to be worth getting. We just need to stockpile up 120 wood for that. We can easily do that. A new automaton has been built. Okay. Let's check where our automatons can be assigned. Of course we have steam coal mines, maybe we put one here. Because we already have, yep, this kind of working sector is already completely um, operated by automatons, yep. So we're going to go ahead and start automating these uh, coal mines. We can also build them to be advanced coal mines, but I don't know if that's going to cost wood that we really want to be saving up for this research. Automaton integration, there we go. Now we can use any extra wood. Okay, our scouts have returned safely to the city, and we need to send them back out to Camp Meteor. Alright, let's go rescue some people from Camp Meteor. Uh, we did want to go to people, no, resources. Advanced Coal Mine. Start upgrading these. They're going to cost steam cores, which we don't have. Okay, so we do want to save our steam cores now and not build any more automatons until we've already upgraded our advanced coal mines. Okay, our scouts have reached Camp Vulcan. There are survivors. We approach the camp. We can see that the inhabitants are busy packing. They've dismantled a couple huts to build improv improvised sledges. Um, you're going the wrong way. The scientists mistook us for the refugees, but after we told them about our city, they're not, they're nonplussed. That's a word I haven't encountered before, nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might as well consult Nansen on that if you reach him in the south. Their work here is done. We could convince them to join us so we could show them to our city. All right. Let's... Escort the scientists to our city. Alright, we discovered a new camp. Jagged Rocks Camp, I guess. That's where Nansen is. We'll get there eventually. But our first priority is helping those people that we have met. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna need to continue building more homes for all these new people that are coming to the city. And we want to build them in warm areas that are ready and have infrastructure already built. I don't know why there is a bunch of random roads here that is making our life difficult. Nope, I don't want to build roads, I want to dismantle streets. There we go. So let's go ahead and build maybe another house or two in the cracks wherever we can fit them. And then continue upgrading bunk houses into houses where we can. Look at the temperature overlay. How are we doing? Oh my gosh, these steelworks are freezing. Okay, hopefully we can make it a little better. Do we have people working in these steelworks? We do. It's funny, steel was the such a big problem at the beginning of the game and now we have more steel than we know what to do with. And now it's um, coal. 
I mean, coal's always going to be kind of a problem, but it's really, uh, it's really wood that's the problem. Mild frostbite, a citizen has become gravely ill. Okay, let's check the temperature of workplaces a little more thoroughly this time. Our steelworks are still freezing. Um, but that's because the, the heater's turned off. I guess we need to check the temperature during working hours. So this is an advanced coal mine. Does it look any different? Not really. Guess we just have to trust that it's advanced. Okay. We have another steam core coming in, and then we'll use that to make another advanced coal mine here. We're doing a really good job on stockpiling food. Okay, we've escorted some more people to our city. We have plenty of houses to accommodate them. We can send our scouts right back out. And we're sending them out to Jagged Rock. All that can be seen are dark, jagged rocks cutting out of the ice plain. I think that's why they said Nansen is. I think so. What's Deep Hollow? The terrain drops suddenly here into a deep hollow. There are wounded people and dead bodies at its rocky bottom. Did we not rescue the people at Deep Hollow yet? That's a little bit concerning. Okay, we're definitely going to have to go back to Deep Hollow then. I don't know how, how we let that happen. Okay, we actually have 221 wood stored up, so I think that might be enough to get all of our houses upgraded. 63 wood? Nope, it's not going to be enough, but it gets us a significant chunk of progress. Check that out. Better insulation for everybody. Come on, all you jobless people, I hope you're you're working on construction. That's why you don't have any jobs. We expect you to work on construction while you're not working. Okay. We have two in palliative care. What is palliative care? Is that like uh, gravely injured people? That's fine. Okay, automaton integration has been researched, so our automatons are now working at. Well, let's check. Um, can we? How do we check this? Base efficiency is 95%. Okay, so they're working pretty much around the clock, um, and they're working at 95% of the efficiency of a full crew of humans. I mean, that's that's pretty hard to beat. Fantastic. Our next research project should probably be. Let's go food, home, and shelter. House insulation. Yes. Yes, please. Once we have enough wood for house insulation, which I think we just need 120 wood. There we go. We can start researching this straight away. Now we're going to go back to coal production just so we can start stockpiling this. Looks like we need even more, um, even more storage for uh, food rations. And I won't complain about having too many food rations. But we definitely don't want to be losing out on anything because uh, because we didn't prepare enough storage for food rations. So there we go. We unfortunately did not get the amount of wood that we needed for the day. I have one wall drill that I put on a 24 hour shift. What about the other wall drill? I'm going to assign this one to an emergency shift so we can continue getting more wood. Wood is so important right now. Okay. Um, fantastic. What were we just doing though? <laughs> I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten. Right, we were going to build more resource storage. Just took me a moment, but I, I remembered. Um, wherever all of our hunter's huts are, there's probably some cookhouses nearby I would as well I would guess. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build large resource storage, maybe just like somewhere far away where we have space for it. Yeah I think I'm gonna build it like here. 
is probably an okay place for it. Or maybe like here. Yeah, this is fine. Well, there's another thing just dedicated to food rations. Okay, only two days worth of coal. That's concerning. Hungry mother, sir, a woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cooks say that she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, your men, uh, I, your men mean well, but they must have made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child, please. Um, I won't bend the rules. I'm sorry, my friend. Rules are the rules. We gotta keep it fair. If we give you extra rations, then everyone's gonna want extra rations, and that's gonna be a problem. What's the issue? Could not consume. Production requires raw food. Okay, so we have more cookhouses than we need. That's fine. Continue building more houses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, gets us most of the way there. I think. Okay, one, two, three, four. And that should be all of our houses into bunk houses. Okay, and we've researched house insulation, which is great. Our next research project should be generator efficiency. That's only going to require 50 wood to get started on. So we're going to go ahead and wait. It's warming up a little bit, which is perfect. Fear of the storm. Food theft causes riots. Sir, we've investigated the discrepancies between the raw food use and output of the cookhouses. It turns out that cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We caught three thieves. They say that they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down the food supply. We could banish them. That seems a little harsh. We need the faith keepers to supervise the cooks. You'll have three days to establish the faith keepers, or I won't address that right now. No, we gotta banish them. I, I think it's harsh, but the only other option we could take is I won't address that right now, and the cooks will keep stealing the food. Listen, if you can't learn to cooperate, then you're on your own. If you're gonna act like you're on your own in the city, then you're gonna be out of, on your own out of the city. Okay? Okay, right. our, our scouts have made it to Camp Meteor. The camp is built around a large hole of ice. It might be the impact crater of a meteorite. There's a block and tackle attached to the top of the steel framework built over the hole. We searched the remains of the camp. There must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the research of whatever punched this hole into the ice. Now the place is deserted and there's nothing left of value to be found here. All right, that's sad. Now. We do need to rescue these folks in Deep Hollow, so I'm gonna send my scouts back to Deep Hollow and uh, rescue them back to the city. These cookhouses, for some reason, only have four or five workers. Oh, those must be the cooks we banished. Of course, of course. Uh, this large resource depot, we're gonna assign it to food rations. We're gonna need more coal resource depots as well. Tip from a believer, sir, a woman has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We'll follow the lead. All right, more supplies for us. We're gonna need more coal. We're gonna need more coal um, storage as well. So we're gonna save up our 150 wood um, to build another large resource depot. And this one is gonna be for coal. We should be researching things though. For some reason we aren't. There we go. Okay, our scouts have reached the jagged rocks. The surface looks like it's been fractured by the shock of an underground explosion. It appears there may have been an underground base here. Steel and coal. All right, fantastic. Ruins of the underground base reek of sulfur. It must have been a warm and sheltered place. Now exploring its steps is dangerous. Exploring the ruins, we found a briefcase signed by Nansen. It seems to contain some interesting blueprints. Take technology. We will acquire some useful technology. Okay, I wish they told us what that technology was. But we'll check in a second. We can go to Nansen Stormwatch. I think we should. Let's see what Nansen has to say here. Uh, and let's go into technology and see what technology we actually acquired here. I don't know what technology we acquired here. This looks all right, like everything we've done. Oh, I think they researched medical automatons. I don't think we've researched that yet. Might be. Um, we're gonna get coal mining uh, rationalization soon as well. 
All right, fantastic. We can also get Flying Hunter's gear to increase the amount of food they collect. We're doing a good job on stockpiling food here. This cookhouse needs a maximum number of workers. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and go to resources, large resource depot, and we're gonna continue to build more coal storage. Where is all of our coal production centered around? I feel like I should know my way around the city a little better than I do. <laughs> I'm still always struggling to like remember where is where. Um, we can build coal storage there. Hopefully we can build another one. I just want to build a ton of these. Looks like we have two steam cores though, so what I'm going to do with our two steam cores is I'm going to go to resources and I'm going to go to advanced coal mine. Alright. That's fine. We'll go ahead and upgrade these two to advanced coal mines. We also need to be researching any technology. We don't want to waste any time. And I think we're going to research coal mining rationalization. There we go. Fantastic. So these advanced coal mines, by the way, are producing 94.1 per hour. That's pretty good. All right, another event. Do mongering drunk, sir. A dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They were chasing after women, yelling that they should have some fun before the storm kills us all. What should we do with them? Banish them? Send them home. Okay, we're not banishing people for getting drunk and saying ridiculous things, but Jesus. I wish we had a prison we could throw them in. Oh my gosh. Okay. We need um, we need an automaton. Another automaton. So we're going to wait on our next arrival of a steam corps. Alright, our scouts are sitting and doing nothing useful. I forgot to keep on top of that. The train drops suddenly here into a deep hollow. There are wounded people and dead bodies at its rocky bottom. Alright, we'll bring the wounded to our city. Fantastic. We made it to Nansen Stormwatch. This sturdy building could withstand a severe arctic winter. It's crammed with sophisticated scientific equipment, yet the camp seems to be abandoned. Uh oh, I thought we were going to find Nansen. We found a note left by Nansen and his co-workers. The expected cold is hard to predict. It will be well, way below any temperature ever recorded on Earth. Gale force 10 and the jet stream seems to abate on descent. Afterwards, the climate shall start improving slowly. We're moving towards the apocalyptic storm to confirm our predictions. Farewell and may God protect you. We will acquire some useful technology. Alright. Some more useful technology. Let's send them over to the large crater. See what's over there. All right, fantastic. I think this is probably a good time to end the episode. We are continuing to, you know, reach Nansen's crew. We've upgraded all of our houses into, well, houses. Exactly what it sounds like. We've upgraded all of our bunk houses into like full on insulated houses. We've researched house insulation, so everybody should be living very comfortably. Um, we have uh, more and more automatons every day. We fully automated this kind of like coal district. We're gonna try to fully automate this coal district as well. Um, and then once that's sorted out, we can start putting automatons in other places like wood production or steel production. Um, I think food production still needs to be done by people, but we've got so many hunter's huts, we're doing fine. We have six days worth of food, and we'll continue, ex we'll continue to stockpile more. Uh, coal, though, is a little bit of a slower process, but we're working on coal production right now. Um, of course, with coal mining rationalization to improve our efficiency, coal thumper injectors will also improve our efficiency, so we'll be doing fine there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.